Hello and welcome to another WBN J Channel News Update. I'm Erin Palacios. Last night, two Black Hawk helicopters from Fort Campbell Military Base collided, resulting in a deadly crash over a field in southwestern Kentucky. U.S. Army officials said one Black Hawk was carrying four service members while the other was carrying five. There were no survivors. The crash occurred during a routine training mission. In a statement from Fort Campbell, personnel are focused on caring for the families and the service members affected. Wall Street journalist Evan Gershkovich was arrested in Moscow, Russia on suspicion of espionage. This is the first time a U.S. journalist has been arrested for this since the Cold War. Gershkovich was reportedly searching for information on the Russian military industrial complex. In a statement from the Wall Street Journal, they asked for his release and said they stand in solidarity with Gershkovich and his family. MBTA executive James J. Nider was let go of his position last week due to an initiative from the Healy administration to change the MBTA leadership. It has been reported by the Boston Globe that Nider spent a significant amount of time outside of the state, making it difficult for him to connect with his coworkers, and he was rarely involved with construction. Governor Maura Healy announced that Philip Eng would take over the role of MBTA general manager. The Boston Red Sox kicked off opening day this afternoon at Fenway Park, playing the Baltimore or Orioles. Fans should be sure to keep an eye out for players Justin Turner and Masataka Yoshida, making their Red Sox debut. Their next game will be Saturday, April 1st. In sports this week, the Bruins take on the Blue Jackets at the TD Garden at 7 p.m. tonight. The Celtics will travel to Milwaukee to face off against the Bucks at 7.30, and the Red Sox continue their series against the Orioles this Saturday. Today was a sunny day with a high of 42 degrees. Tonight will dip into the low 30s. Tomorrow we'll need our umbrellas since it will be a rainy day with a high of 50 degrees and a low of 27. Don't put away your umbrellas just yet because Saturday will be a typical spring day. It will be a warm and rainy day with a high of 64 and a low of 44. If you're looking for a new restaurant to try, the James Beard Awards announced their 2023 Restaurant and Chef nominees yesterday. Three of the nominees were Massachusetts chefs. Rachel Miller, a chef at Nightshade Noodle Bar in Lynn, Massachusetts, was nominated for Outstanding Chef. Miller cooks both French and Vietnamese food. Yisha Su, a chef at Chinese restaurant Yunnan Kitchen in Brighton, and Valentine Howell, a chef at Greek restaurant Crassi in Back Bay, were both nominated for Best Chef in the Northeast. Winners will be announced on June 5th. That's all for today's J Channel update. I'm Erin Palacios. We'll see you next time.